the, the groin stretch. We're going to go ahead and have it elevated up on a box um, or just a higher surface. So this is about 20 inches. That's about the box size that you would like. Um, if you can't get your leg up that high, do, do a lower surface. I'm going to go ahead and put my leg up onto the box. Make sure it's facing nice and straight on. And I'm going to make sure my knees line up with the second and third toe. Here we go, I'm nice and squared. I'm going to angle my leg out slightly. I'm not going to be too far, and I'm going to go ahead and bring it out so I can sit my hips back. I'm going to go ahead and sit my hips back and point towards the ground. You can go ahead and take the, the hand on the inside of your body or on the inside of your knee. You can place it on top of your foot, or you can place it just on the box. We're going to go ahead and just point towards the ground. I'm going to use this hand to support so I'm not shifting or falling. I'm going to sit back, and my back's going to be nice and flat. This is going to be the side view. The same movement. Okay, go. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. Look, bring my leg up. My knee is going to be over my second, third toe. I'm going to use this uh, inside hand as support. Just to kind of hold, kind of pull myself in, and I'm going to go ahead and let my other arm dangle and sit my hips back. You see how nice and flat my back is? I'm not rounding or arching my upper back at all. So it's nice and flat, and I really sit my hips back and just kind of relaxing. Make sure you breathe throughout this movement. We don't want to hold our breath. You, you would want to at least hold a uh, stretch for 30 seconds on each side before moving on to the next movement. That is the groin box stretch.